Don't any of you have the guts to play for blood? I'm your huckleberry. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm coming at you today to do a review for a holster and a new holster company that I've discovered, holstermods.com. Uh, I've been recently looking for a good holster for my Canik TP9 Elite Combat as I'm starting to carry this more often. And it's really tough to find a good inside waistband holster, especially if you're left-handed and you're looking for something that's light bearing. Uh, so I reached out to the guy that owns the company. He actually sent this out to me to review. So full disclosure on that, but I will still give you my honest opinion of it. And honestly, my honest opinion is that it is a fucking phenomenal holster. The attention to detail is there. He did a really phenomenal job on all his edges. They're all very smooth. There's nothing sharp. Nothing pokes me. And, you know, I'm a fucking fat dude, so if it was going to poke me, I'd know it. Um, but, yeah, very comfortable holster to wear. The metal clips are really nice. They lock up solid on your belt. This thing won't fucking move around on you. Uh, the holster itself, it actually holds the pistol really fucking securely. You shake the fucking shit out of it, and the fucking thing's not going anywhere. So that's good, but it's also not super difficult to draw. I mean, it's got some resistance. You know, you've got to pull it, but you don't have to pull the fuck out of it. And the more I use it, certainly the easier the release is becoming. You can see here where it's starting to wear a little bit. I'm pretty sure that's where it's doing most of its grabbing. And that's cool because I don't give a fuck about the finish. Any gun you put in a holster, you're going to get a little bit of finish wear from drawing it and reholstering it. And, you know, that's just part of the game with carrying a fucking gun. But really blown away by this fucking holster. Really well made. It's a pretty thick Kydex. I measured it with the calipers. It is 2.5 millimeters thick. Or in American, uh, just a hair under an eighth inch. Say, three sixteenths of an inch thick, roughly. Um, but yeah, really impressed with his uh, craftsmanship and the quality and stuff he put into this. It locks up well. He's got it made for the suppressor height sights. So if I had suppressor height sights, that would not be an issue clearing there. It's also got the area cut out for the threaded barrel, as well as, like I mentioned, it's a light bearing holster. Now, just to talk about his website a little bit, I was looking at that, doing a little bit of uh, research for the video, and this guy makes everything you could possibly need. He does inside waistband light, uh, holsters, light bearing and not light bearing, as well as outside waistband, level two outside waistband, drop leg holsters, <clears throat> uh, he also does mag carriers, tourniquet carriers, holsters for your OC spray, Narcan holsters, uh, Kydex wallets, body cam holsters. Shrimp soup, shrimp stew, shrimp salad, shrimp and potatoes, shrimp burger, shrimp sandwich. That's, that's about it. I mean, a ton of different products available on this guy's website, and I would say they're all top... Uh, I, I mean, I'd have to assume they're all going to be just as nice as this holster. This holster really blew me away. Um, as far as the different light options, he's also blown me away in that regard because looking at it, there were over 50 options for different lights and lasers that he has um, the molds and shit ready to make your holster. Uh, and just to mention some of them, you got Hollow Sun, Sig, Streamlight, Olight, Crimson Trace, Viridian, Laser Max. He even has Votatu, which uh, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's those Amazon lights and lasers. Pretty much nobody fucking makes holsters for those, so kudos to him for that. He's covering the market. Uh, let's see. Tacticon, GMCon, M-Force, Surefire. Uh, 50 different options for lights and lasers. Um, I'll put links in the description below to the different to the website, and you guys can check it out too. He also has several different, several different options available for the type of clips you can get. Uh, foamy clips, the mono clips, tech lock, wing clips, J clips, paddle clips, and belt slides. And in addition to that, as far as the different uh, firearms he accommodates, pretty much any common pistol that you can buy today, this guy's making a fucking holster for it. I'm talking CZ, SIG, Beretta, uh, HK, fucking the Palmetto State pistols he's doing holsters for. Um, I'll go ahead and annotate the different manufacturers here on the screen so you can get an idea of how many different types of pistols he's actually making holsters for. Okay, so I'll give you guys a moment to read all that and take a look. Uh, in addition, he also has given me a coupon code that I can include in the video, and anybody who uses this code will get 15% off 
their uh, custom holster order. The code is YouTube 2024, all one word, all lowercase. So guys, if you're looking for a good high quality inside waistband, outside waistband, or drop leg holster, definitely check out holstermods.com. Um, I don't know if there's a comment section, but fuck it. If there is, tell them Chunky Operator sent you. But until next time, guys, stay safe, carry one, and take care of yourself. Like, comment, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And you guys be safe. Peace. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Coming at you today, wanted to do a holster review. Fuck, I gotta start over.